Question 1. Explain the principle of X-ray in radiology. Answer. X-rays are the type of radiation with a specific wavelength. When it passes through human body, different tissues absorb this radiation differently depending upon the tissue's density. Moreover, based on the body tissue and bone density, it will create an image on the film. Question 2. What are the radiations and technology that radiologist uses? Answer. Radiologist uses an array of imaging technologies that includes X-rays radiography, ultrasound, computed tomography, nuclear medicines, positron emission tomography, PT, magnetic resonance imaging, MRI. Question 3. Is it dangerous if a person is exposed to X-rays frequently? Answer. If a person is exposed to X-rays for medical purpose, then it should not be dangerous as it emits a low level of radiation. However, if he or she is exposed for longer duration then it will be dangerous. Question 4. In USA, who regulates the devices used for radiation and monitor its usage? Answer. In USA, the Food and Drug Administration FDA, monitors the manufacture and sale of the devices, while State Health Department keeps the watch on the use and release of radioactive materials along with manufacture and sale. NRC, Nuclear Regulatory Commission and DOE, Department of Energy, will monitor how people work with various devices and radioactive materials. Question 5. Explain what do you mean by latent effect in radiology? Answer. The latent effect in radiology is referred to the time duration between the exposure to radiation and the findings of clinical signs. Question 6. Explain what is emulsion? Answer. Emulsion is the most important component of X-ray film. It is made up of silver halide crystals suspended in gelatin. The X-rays from the intensifying screens interact with emulsion and transform information to the film. Question 7. Why a grid is sometimes placed in a cassette? Answer. A grid is sometimes placed in a cassette to avoid scatter radiation from the film and diminishing the detail of the image. Question 8. List out the differences between X-rays and MRI. Answer. To capture internal view of the body, X-ray uses radiation. MRI uses the water in our body and the proton in the water molecules to capture the internal view of the body. It uses magnetic radiation. X-rays are mostly used to study the structure of bones and teeth. MRI are used for multiple purposes like analysis of soft tissue, spinal cord injury, ligament and tendon injury, brain tumors, etc. A complete scan is done in few seconds. Scanning typically runs for about 30 minutes. Excess exposure may cause irreversible damage like cancer. There is no side effects of MRI. X-ray does not have efficiency to capture an image from a different angle. Patient himself have to adjust their position for taking image from a different angle. 3D isotropic imaging can be produced and in any other plane with MRI. X-rays are cheaper and less space occupying than MRI. MRI needs more room and it's expensive compared to x-rays. Question 9. Explain how x-ray tube works. Answer. X-ray tubes are energy converter. It receives the electrical energy and converts into two other forms x-radiation and heat. The electrons are converted to protons information of x-radiation, while the heat emitted is considered an undesirable product. Question 10. What does an X-ray tube consist of? Answer. An X-ray tube consists of cathode, anode, expansion bellow, tube in mellop, tube housing, cooling de-electric oil, rotor, induction stator, tube window. Question 11. Explain what is densitometer is used for? Answer. A densitometer is used to study the relationship between the intensity of the exposure of the film and the blackness after processing. Question 12. What is the maintenance process in X-ray unit? Answer. Maintenance processes in X-ray unit includes check for radiation leakage. Once in a month you can check for radiation leakage by checking radiation shielding, broken window, broken collimator, glass or shutter, hole in the wall, operation in positive beam limitation, PBL. Make sure that the X-rays are inhibited when in the PBL model and not at 72 or 42 SID. This should be done on a daily basis. Check for filter or or mirror if KV is greater than 49 kilovolts even when collimator filter is off. Exposure to X-rays must be inhibited. The ready light should be turned off. This check can also be done on daily basis.
Question 13. Explain radiology. Answer. Radiology is a medical specialty that employs the use of imaging to both diagnose and treat disease visualized within the human body. Radiologists use an array of imaging technologies such as X-ray radiography, ultrasound, computed tomography, CT, nuclear medicine, positron emission tomography, PET, and magnetic resonance imaging, MRI, to diagnose or treat diseases. Interventional radiology is the performance of, usually minimally invasive medical procedures with the guidance of imaging technologies question 14 what are some new areas in radiology answer combined imaging techniques such as PET CT offer exciting future opportunities for disease detection and monitoring functional mister imaging molecular imaging cardiac mister and CT breast MRI expanding interventional techniques Question 15. What conditions will you commonly see as a diagnostic radiologist? Answer. There are far too many to list. Any disease or patient presentation that can possibly have a physical slash imaging manifestation from the cranial vertex down to the tips of the toes is a possibility in the radiology department. There's a lot to know. But that's what makes it challenging and satisfying. Question 16. What is the call frequency? Answer. During residency, this varies from program to program depending on the number of sites covered and the number of residents. At McMaster, we do call roughly 1 in 7 or 8 averages out to 3 to 4 calls per month. We cover two sites on each call shift. Our hospitals have established a contrast policy whereby residents do not need to travel between sites in order to cover contrast enhanced examinations. As a staff radiologist, you your call frequency will depend on the number of radiologists in your practice as well as the imaging modalities and technologists slash imaging hours your hospital offers. As a rough estimate, if there are 4 radiologists in your group, you will be on call 1 in 4. If there are 13 of you, then it's 1 in 13, etc. This may change if you have specialized skills, such as in interventional radiology. The other determinant of call depends on whether you are working at an academic center with resident and fellow call coverage or a community setting. For the latter, another factor which influences the busyness of your call is whether or not your center provides 24-7 count US or MRI imaging.